you can, you can hear the spectators. So we have totality in Lake Placid. Wow. You're seeing it with me, folks. We can hear the emotion in your voice. What does this feel like to you? This is your first total solar eclipse. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm sorry. It is tr truly amazing. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to see what planet has appeared to the lower right. It's, it's, um, Venus has appeared, usually the morning star or evening star, but in this case it is in transition and it's to the lower right of totality. Look at that. We, we can see flares with our naked eyes. Glasses off, everybody. You can see some flares in the lower left um, of the corona. You can see that reddish hue that we've seen elsewhere around the country. It is just breathtaking. We are in pitch dark. We are in total nighttime here in Lake Placid. You do see some of those flares, the corona. And as we transition out of totality, and uh, we're going to be watching this carefully because the diamond ring was uh, something that I missed here as we entered totality, and I hope to catch here as we exit. Um, but from Lake Placid, New York, this is absolutely stunning and as i expected we have a sunset across all of the horizon it's obscured a little bit by the cirrus cloudiness that we've talked endlessly about but we have a sunset that is showing up on the other side of whiteface mountain and the other side of these condos there's other there's a i just I want to see, i was wondering we're not seeing the comet there was hope that we'd be able, if, it was, if the skies were crystal clear, there was a comet, and Anthony, you might know the name of the comet, um, since you're watching with me, or you can Google it real quick. The, off, off to the left, you're hoping to see a comet, but I think the high cloudiness has taken that away from us. But there's more solar flares in that lower, uh, lower uh, sort of to the left portion of the corona. Look at that. That is, look at, look at this, the corona is just amazing. All right, I gathered myself, you guys. I'm back. But uh, that was, wow. that's, this is truly amazing. Bob, you've seen a lot. You're a well-traveled, well-read guy. What makes this, for you being there in person, so emotional right now? What is it about this event? It's the complete change in everything that we were experiencing five minutes ago. It's a complete dark sky, the silence. I haven't noticed anything from nature as far as birds, but it's the silence, it's the incredible beauty of that, of totality. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Bob, when you think about the fact that you are experiencing this, surrounded by people who you love, in an area that you love, this is your home roots here, that has to have even more of a special meaning to you at this moment. It really does. Now, it really does. Um, it's, it's hard to describe, actually. Um, wow, look at those flares off the bottom right now. Are you seeing those with me? Oh, oh yeah. Ring. Oh, yeah. Glasses ha yep. Oh, look at that diamond ring. This is absolutely unbelievable. All right, glasses back on. You can hurt yourself. Oh my gosh, that wow. is unbelievable. Yes. You almost don't want to put your glasses back on, but you have to do it for your eye safety. Um, that is unbelievable. 